Once here, I lift up, I look. All right, so we're watching the next technique in this video. Um, he kind of raises both elbows up and then twists them to the side. And also as the Naihachi Shodan, they do like a foot sweep into a throw. Most of them have a double underhooks or you can do this with overhooks as well. So with the double overhooks, all I'm gonna do is wrap over the top here. And wherever my head is looking, most likely is where I should be taking my opponent. I don't, it doesn't really make sense for me to try to take him this way because my body's not gonna be aligned. It's not gonna be able to spin uh, completely, right? So when I'm here, I'm going to pinch up on the armpits here of my opponent and I'm gonna lift his center of gravity off the ground. So we're both kind of lifting up into the air. Notice how my, my back is kind of curved towards him. I actually wanna lean back, kind of like you're like pulling like a shirt over your head or something. You're leaning back this way. The act of leaning back like that actually pulls him even more onto his toes. And once he's kind of at the peak of that pull, you're just gonna rotate him, rotate him off to the side. Now, if I do that without sticking my foot, we're just gonna spin, right? So we're gonna do this and we're gonna spin around like that. And now notice how he had to catch himself with his foot there uh, so he doesn't fall over. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna do that rotate and I'm just stick my foot out here. That way he can't really catch himself anymore. I'm actively looking towards where I am, I'm throwing and that's gonna end up throwing him to the ground here. So if you don't mind, I'll take you down once. I'm here, I lift up, I look all the way to the mat. Now some things happen when you are having the overhook. When the person falls over, his arm's gonna be trapped under here. So that means you have a, a, an opportunity to add some strikes to that or add a lock. So after I take him down, I go to here. Oh, I took him down this way. Now notice how his arm's stuck to here. I wanna start bringing my hips towards the arm so that he doesn't turn back into me. If I stay lean over like this, he'll roll in. And uh, someone who knows any grappling, he's gonna start tackling your legs here. So immediately I'm going to apply pressure on the arm and I'm gonna posture up. You guys can see how this can turn into a break of the elbow here, or it can turn into a, a shoulder lock as well. Or you're just holding him here, maybe you're holding onto the material of his shirt and stuff like that, you can throw strikes from here too. I have my trailing knee, also can throw knees here or pin him to the mat this way. Kind of like in Jiu Jitsu, they call it a knee on belly position. So that's gonna allow me to throw strikes and prevent him from turning back into me. So we just went over, if you have uh, overhooks, double overhooks, but you can also reach for a double underhook, right? If I can get double underhook here, what I wanna try to do is, if I can clasp my hands uh, around the back, I'm definitely gonna try to do that if I can get a gable grip or something like that. If I can pinch and then pull him in to my chest and try to shuck him up, I'm gonna do that as well, as much as I can. So here we can use this as a way to kind of change our positions, get him onto the wall versus myself. And then what I'm going to do is since we're both, both our heads are on this side, pointing this way. That's the way I'm gonna kind of turn him into the wall, right? So I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna shuck and rotate him over the way that we did that uh, with the double overhook. And it's just a double underhook, right? Uh, keeping your head close to their head here, and pinching them in is important because here he's, he wants to keep space from you, right? So he's gonna be doing this, trying to, trying to move back. Uh, he may even try to dig his arm across your chin to try to get his arms back in there and get away, right? So by creating this thing, locking your grip, pulling him in tight here, this makes it so you can't really do that, right? I'm kind of hiding my head so you really can't get his shoulder up from under there, right? So when I come in, I wanna do this, I'm gonna shuck this up this way, kind of like I'm going to try to punch across, and then I'm just going to rotate hard, boom, right into the wall. Once I get back to here, then I'm going to square up on him and drive up into under his chin.